everybody, my name is Minnie Crumpler. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I want to talk about how to attend college while you have Tourette's uh, or any type of disability really. Um, <laughs> but I am talking about specifically Tourette's because that's what I have, that's what I experience, that's what I struggle with, that's my challenge. And um, that's what I have while I went to college. Um, so whether you're a running start student or you're going to community college or you're going to university, this is the right video for you. The reason why I want to talk about this is because I think personally, every person deserves an education. And even if you're disabled or have a disability or have challenges, you deserve and you have the right to get an education. Um, and that's my two cents on that. Um, I personally went to a community college before I attended university. Um, the reason being is because it's cheaper. Uh, I didn't have the requirements right after high school to go to university, like a two, two years of foreign language. Um, my math is very low. I, I took special edu education math all my life, which kind of led me to be behind on math because um, I was in like, I was taking pre-algebra and I was taking pre-algebra in college too, in my community college. And so this community college I went to is now a college because it has four year degrees and and really cool programs. So it's not no longer a community college, but it is a formal community college. Um, what I did was I went to a community college and, and then I got my AA um, and transferred to Western Washington University, which is a uh, university in Bellingham in Washington State. Um, so how I started to... Ah! So how I started to, how I started to prepare myself for college right after high school is that I went to community college, I applied for the, the, the college online and it's open to everyone as long as you can pay. Um, I had financial aid help me, FAFSA, um, so look into financial aid if you have um, financial issues or financial struggles. Um, and what I did was I would uh, apply for the college and also apply within the Disability Center. There's Every college has a Disability Resource Center and it, it's supposed to help you navigate through college and give you accommodations in class to help you succeed in your class. So what I did was I had an intake with the like the director of the Disability Resource Center, and um, we we test my math skills and my English skills and place me. It would it's like a placement where they put me in a certain uh, math class or English class based on what I got as a score, and then I <laughs> they 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 gave me accommodations based on my disability and what kind of disability it is what kind of disability it is and what kind of type of help I need. So one of the things that I needed help with was, <laughs> because my tics are so loud, I <laughs> I have to have a quiet room to um, to take tests. And <laughs> and when I take tests, I it's a lot more relaxing to do in a quiet room because I'm not worried about if I'm disturbing other people or if, I'm stressed out about how other people think or feel or if I'm disturbing them um, or if I'm just dis a disruption to them, even though um, they understand, but I wanted to make sure that there's no stress for anyone. Um, and also uh, there's a proctor, which means a person who looks after you while you take a test so you don't cheat. Um, and that's an, another, another accommodation. Another accommodation I had was a scribe, which is a person who takes notes for you. Um, for me, my Tourette's makes it hard to, to, to write because I scribble, I tear the pages, I throw my pen, I cramp my hands, I go like, ah, and I throw my <laughs> pen. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> another accommodation is when I take tests, I get double time, which means that the time that a regular student usually gets, it, it's doubled. So I get more time on tests because my Tourette's takes, it makes it take a while to write or process my thoughts or to even focus and concentrate because my Tourette's is so often that it makes it hard. Um, I also have this accommodation where I'm able to take breaks during class. I can leave the class anytime to take a break, gather myself, um, gather my thoughts, 
breathe, meditate before I go back in if I'm stressed out. Um, <laughs> so, what I do before any class I take is I, when I figure out what my, what my classes are, I would, I would email my professors. I'd figure out who my teacher is, what time, what days, and email them to tell them about um, who I am, uh, to tell them about who I am, what my goals are, what my disability is, and close, disclose that, disclose that, and tell them what you, just tell them about yourself, like be honest about yourself and your, your, your threats or your disability. And usually, most of the time, teachers will understand and they'll try to help you as best as they can and tell them about the accommodations that you need from it's not a requirement for you to write an email to your professors, but it helps me. It helps me personally because instead of relying on Disability Resource Center to explain to the teachers, um, you 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 give that a personal touch. Because that, that personal touch, you get more in touch with the teacher and you connect with them on a on a deeper level, and they'll understand you more and are willing more willing to help you. Um, and. I also ask, I, what I usually do is I ask the professor in advance if I can talk to the class on the first day. So introduce myself, explain to the class, hey guys, my name is Megan. <laughs> my, hey guys, my name is Megan. I have Tourette's syndrome. What Tourette's is, is this, this, this. I can't control it and I hope that we can be friends or you can say whatever. You can say whatever that's in your heart and on your mind. Just be honest with people and they'll be honest back and they'll understand you. Uh, I explain what Tourette's is. I would um, tell them what tics I have um, that uh, I just introduce myself as me. Um, so yeah, so that's important to do is it's not a requirement like I said, but it's, it is optional. And I think it's a really good idea to email your professors and ask your professors whether you can talk to the class on the first day or not. Um, Another advice I have is work very closely with the Disability Resource Center or the Disability Center because they are your allies and they are there to help you to be succeed, to, to be successful. They are there to help you to be successful in college and pass your classes and graduate. And so that's important to work closely and don't get on their bad side because if you do, like don't yell at them if they did a mistake or be impatient with them. Be nice to the person working on the front desk, be nice to the director, be nice to the other people that work there and get on their good side. Um, another advice I have, if you have a disability or Tourette's like me, it, <laughs> is to be involved on campus because that is so important. I can't stress enough about how important it's not just go to class, go home, do your homework and sleep and eat whatever you do at home, watch Netflix. Um, it's so important to just go join clubs. There's so many clubs on campus. There's over like, at my, at my college, there was over like 500 clubs and programs that <laughs> there's, uh, there's Glee Club, there is a uh, chess club, there is uh, Rotaract, which is community-based service. There is um, so many clubs out there that, that fits your niche, um, that fits what you like to do. And, and um, what I did in college back when I went to community college is that I was, I ran for um, a position for the government of the school and I got elected and I learned so much about how politics works, how Robert's rules, which is like a, a way of, um, a way of forming meetings, like how to organize meetings and, and how to make judicial and and ethical choices to help represent the students. And it was such an amazing experience and I encourage everyone to be involved on campus because it changes your life, literally. Like it changes your life. You meet so many cool people. Sometimes you even get to travel. Um, I got to travel to the Galapagos Islands uh, because I was, um, I got to travel to Galapagos Islands because I was um, part of the Model United Nations, another political class that they offered at the college. Um, it's like the United Nations, but you're mocking it. Um, so you're sort of like pretending to be a delegate at a, of a country and represent that country. And um, I was part of the Model United Nations and 
we got to go to Galapagos Islands. And when I was in, in the student government of the college, I got to go to Washington, D.C., um, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, or Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, I got to go to different um, states and, and towns for meetings or organizations or networking. And being involved in campus is daunting and is scary because you have to meet new people, you have to put yourself out there and you have to let yourself be known despite your Tourette's and you have to deal with people. And I know how hard that is because it's scary, it's daunting. You don't know what how people are gonna react to your Tourette's. You don't know if they're gonna hate you. You don't know if they're gonna laugh at you. And, and, and it's so scary, I understand that. But it's so important to, to be involved in campus because it changes your life and you sleep better at night because you are so active on campus and your tics are calmer and usually and you're not a hermit crab you're not a hermit crab hiding at home all the time because that's the worst thing you can do for yourself if you have Tourette's is hiding yourself at home and not living your life to the fullest. Um, another another advice I have is if you were to go to a university and if you get into the university, which I'm sure you will, um, I recommend getting a uh, a dorm room for your, to yourself, which is another co accommodation that they offer. Uh, if, if you have loud Tourette's and you can't have roommates, you can have a dorm room to yourself, which I had at the Western Washington University. Um, I had a dorm room for myself. <laughs> and that helped me sleep at night and it, it helped me not stress out about what my roommates would think or how if I would wake them up at night or if I were to bother or disturb them. So yeah, that's mostly my advice on what to do when you attend college, when you have Tourette's or any type of disability. Um, I'd say just, if, if you want to go to college, go to college because it's one of the best experiences that I've ever had in my life. Um, obviously there are people who don't go to college and still are successful and find hobbies and passions that they love. It's an option, um, college is an option and it's also a right. Um, I believe that every person has a right to education and it's super important to educate yourself about everything about as much as you can as much as possible and um, that is it for today guys thank you for tuning in um, remember I post every Saturday um, usually at 9 a.m. PST um, so yeah thank you for tuning in and add me on Instagram which is official mini crumpler or um, Subscribe, click the subscribe button below and click the bell so you can get subscription subscriptions. Click the button below so you can get like notifications of when I post videos. Thank you so much. Bye guys.